Hey there friends and good morning Papa. Welcome to another hunter pet video. In today's video we are going after the thorn claw. Now the thorn claw is attainable by all hunter specs but it is going to require a bit of your time. So if this hunter pet is intriguing to you let me go ahead and show you how you get started and where you can acquire this for yourself. Step one you are going to set sail and take yourself to the Dragon Isles. Once there, you want to come to the left-hand side of the map and you are going to enter into the Emerald Dream. Once there, you want to come to this location. Zooming in on the map, this circled area right here is where you are going to be going after the Dream Sabers or the Prowlers or the Stalkers, the cats that are here in game because they have a chance of dropping the item that we are after. Now, just going in a circly loop around the edge here was what I found to be the perfect solution to this situation because they spawn back in pretty quickly. Now, if you're familiar with the other two videos I did for the Thorn Bear and the Thorn Stag, you are after an item to drop. Now, out of all of these, this one took me the longest for it to drop. I was after these sabers for about an hour before I ended up getting the item I needed. So the item you are after is the Thorn Laden Heart. The saber heart still pulses as you hold it. Bloody thorns wrap around the organ. Once you've acquired this item, we are going to go ahead and move on to step two. Step two, you are gonna wanna make your way over here to Cole Terrace. And once you're there, you wanna make your way over here to Drustbar. Now, if you are horde and you're trying to figure out how to get over there, go ahead and head to Zandalar and get onto your warship and just have it take you over to Cold Terrace. Once there, go ahead and fly over to Drustbar as well. Now that we're all there, go ahead and head over to this location. There's two locations that Athania can end up spawning in at. One is here in a cave and the other one is down in the forest with her boy toy. Now, if you head into the forest during the daytime, you will not see her here because she only spawns in at nighttime down in the forest, but she does have a chance for her to spawn inside of the cave during daytime. Now, I never had any luck of her ever showing up here, but she is located right here behind this water feature if she was going to spawn in here. Once it became nighttime around 7 o'clock or 1900 hours server time, she ended up spawning in the forest. Now, while filming this portion of the video, I got to experience the fun either bug and or slash feature of her is the fact that if she is not there at night, when you go and look, don't even bother because she's not going to spawn in. I honestly don't know if this is a bug or if this is a feature. I, she's a NPC that you can't attack or anything else like that. So I'm not sure why she wouldn't show up at night. So if you end up coming here at nighttime and she is not here, just wait till the next day because I never saw her spawn in the whole entire day. All right, here we are the next day and she is here. So if she is here, go ahead and talk to her and she will end up taking that thorn laden heart and will turn the item into a moon touch thorns removed from a saber's heart. These thorns now reflect moonlight in the dark. Once you have that, go ahead and make your way back up into the cave that she can spawn in. It is just here up at the top and you are going to want to talk to the guy inside the cave. Once you find Olfar, go ahead and talk to him and pick the option dialogue. I have seen some animals that look like they are part plant. Can you tell me more about them? Just go through the dialogue and once that is done, he will change the item that you have in your bag. It'll end up becoming a thorn speaker ritual knife, a sharpened knife with a handle of thorns. A large cat is carved into the base. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and move on to step three, which is the final step for this. And we are going to make our way back to the Emerald Dream. Once you're back in the Emerald Dream, you want to head over here to this location. Zooming in on the map, you are going to see a cave entrance here. You want to go ahead and make your way inside because we are looking for Liliuna. Now, depending what color she is right now will determine what type of thorn claw you end up getting. So if she ends up being a blue dream saber, saber she will turn into a pale thorn claw. Purple becomes black and teal green becomes green. So if you want her to be a specific color, go ahead and off the NPC, wait for it to spawn in, and hopefully it spawns in in the color choice that you would prefer. Now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and battle this NPC and go ahead and defeat it. Then you're going to make sure all of your pets are dismissed and you're going to open your bag and you are going to click that ritual knife that you got and it will end up summoning the thorn claw version of the saber. Once that happens, go ahead and tame it. Business as usual, nothing special is required. Now this saber is a specialization of ferocity. Its tamed abilities are claw, 
growl, cat-like reflexes, growl and dash, and his diet is meat and fish. Cat-like reflexes is the special ability instant with a one and a half minute cooldown. The cat he heightens its senses, increasing dodge chance by 30% for 20 seconds. Then you have Primal Rage, a ferocity ability, instant six minute cooldown, increased haste by 30% for all party and raid members for 40 seconds. And finally, you have the bonus ability, Prowl, an instant 10 second cooldown, puts your pet into stealth mode, but slows its movement speed by 50%. The first attack from stealth receives a 20% bonus to damage, last until canceled. And that's it. That's where you can find the Thorn Claw Hunter Pet for yourself. I actually really enjoy doing videos like this to where the Hunter Pets require a little bit more strategy than just going out there and face rolling it. Let me know down in the comments if you end up going after this type of Hunter Pet and what cool name you ended up giving it. Hopefully you enjoy this video. If you did, please consider giving it a like. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make Hunter Pet videos every week and I would love to have you here as part of this amazing community. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I look forward to bringing you the next Hunter Pet video. Bye for now!